Greetings and welcome to New Zim TV. I am Makanaka Masenya, my story is making the headlines. Chamisa blocked from accessing VIP tent during Dawengwa Memorial Gala. Henrita Shwaya says Chinese gold dealers ripping off small scale miners in the courts. Walter Magaya opts for out of court settlement in 23 million US dollar home link debt. In sports, Afghan bound warriors face Minos Comoros in the Kosafa. Now the news in greater detail. MDC leader Nelson Chamisa was on Friday blocked from accessing the VIP tent by some security personnel during late national hero Dumiso Dabengwa's memorial gala in Blawayo's White City Stadium. Witnesses said organizers of the event were at ease with the firebrand opposition leader following proceedings from the VIP tent but some overzealous security thought otherwise. In the end, Chamisa followed the proceedings from a tent which was reserved for traditional leaders and some opposition politicians. MDC spokesperson Jacob Mofume condemned the conduct of security. Uh, what I gather is that there is a need for security personnel to understand that the state does not belong to ZANU-PF. They must understand that the op leaders of the MDC, who have city mayors, MPs, are indeed part of the state. The state cannot be conflated with ZANU-PF. So when there are important and national events, it is very important that those who lead uh, the, the security personnel or whoever is working on behalf of the state understand that the state is made up of chiefs, of MPs, of leaders of political parties, including leaders of government, and that all these deserve to be treated with respect and dignity. Some of these people think that it is their God-given duty to persecute MDC people. They think that it is a God-given duty to persecute leaders of other political parties. It is archaic, it is backward, it is foolish, and part of the dictatorship hangover that this country is suffering from. We have bigger things to worry about, the suffering of the people, the collapse of the economy, and in, in any event, when people are going to a funeral, there is no VIP in death, there is no VIP in dying. It's mourning, for goodness sake. When people are crying, why would one want to be a VIP mourner? It does not make sense. So access to facilities and access to tents should be uh, done as according to protocol and the degree of importance of individual leaders. It is not the first time this year that Chamisa has been denied access to the VIP tent during the burial of a national hero. He was early this year made to mingle with ordinary mourners during the burial of iconic musician Oliver Mtukudzi. Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe Deputy Governor Kupukile Mlambo says government has squandered its trust by the public through poor economic policies and banking chaos. Mlambo was responding to questions raised by participants at the Confederation of Zimbabwe Industries annual general meeting this week. Zimbabwe is in the throes of its deepest economic crisis characterized by endless fuel queues, power cuts and skyrocketing prices of goods and services. Cash shortages have also been the order of the day with no signs of any improvement. U.S. Ambassador to Zimbabwe, Brian Nichols, has called for the immediate release of seven pro-democracy activists arrested and charged with plotting to unseat President Emerson Mnangagwa by force. Nichols said while touring a solar-powered irrigation project in Shimani Mani, funded by his country, that the arrests were an affront to Mnangagwa's efforts towards reforms in a country torn apart by years of conflict and economic stress. The state claims the activists received training in organizing mass protests, the use of small arms, and counterintelligence in the Maldives. At least 45 former St. Charles Luanga High students in Chimani Mani, who were in March affected by Cyclone Idai, have successfully secured places at Yuma Institute in Chihuahua, Marondera Rural. St. Charles Luanga, a Roman Catholic-run church, 
failed to reopen for the second term after the devastating cyclone caused extensive damage at the learning facility. Two students and one staff member died when the rainstorm hit the area, killing over 400 in Chimani Mani and neighboring districts, with some 50,000 also displaced. In the courts, popular Harare preacher Walter Magaya and wife Tendai have opted for an out of court settlement to repay 23 million US dollars to Homelink Finance Private Limited in a bid to save their expensive guest house. The couple, whose empire has been linked to tax evasion, among other statutory misdemeanors, was recently hauled to court by the state owned company over failure to repay the loan. A lawyer representing Homelink Finance confirmed recently before a high court judge that the parties have agreed on settling the matter out of court. Still in the courts, four Zimbabwe prisons officers will face trial on June 18 after they allegedly stole inmates' rations worth over 7,000 United States dollars. Rukudzo Konje, Roda Mawadze, Avelino Muchawa and Margaret Chikwature, who were all stationed at Harare Central Prison at the time, are said to have committed the offense in full view of inmates. The court heard the quartet went on to stage manage a break-in to cover up its offense in business. Controversial Zimbabwe Miners Federation President Henry Tarshwaya has accused Chinese gold dealers of swindling small-scale miners. The former Ziva boss, who recently survived a bid by the Sushavane Mberengwa Mining Association to bar her from continuing as ZMF president, was speaking at the Zimbabwe Annual Mining Conference in Victoria Falls on Thursday. Rushwaya pleaded with government to free the sector in order to do away with an official middleman. In sports, the Zimbabwe Warriors' preparations for the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations finals in Egypt will go a gear up when they take on Indian Ocean Minos Comoros in the quarterfinals of 2019 Kosafa Cup at the Princess Magogo Stadium in Deben this Saturday. The regional tournament is the major highlight in the Warriors' preparations for AFCON. Sunday Chidambwa's men are also set to clash with the Super Eagles of Nigeria on June 8 to complete their preparations for Africa's most competitive football extravaganza. To end this news bulletin, here is a recap of headlines once more. Chamisa blocked from accessing VIP tent during Dabengwa Memorial Gala. Henry Tarashwaya says Chinese gold dealers ripping off small-scale miners. In the courts, Walter Magaya opts for out-of-court settlement in 23 million US dollar home league debt. In sports, Afghan-bound warriors face Minus Comoros in the Kosafa. Reporting for NewsZimbabwe.com, I am Makanaka Masenyama. For this and more stories, visit our website www.newsombabwe.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel.